welcome to Winnipeg. I had to make up a new list. It's getting longer and longer and longer. We got a new one here now. Uh, pretty soon I'm gonna have to put up a new shelf because I, I'm running out of room. I, <laughs> it's not long enough. I think we have a total of 15 cups already. Now one of them is sort of a wild card. The uh, the 8K one, we sometimes go a long time before we need it. But, uh, and then there's the, the pizza day cup. It sort of isn't in the, in order either. It's every seven days we have that, but yeah, it's getting to the place now that it takes about two weeks to get through all the cups. But we'll get there. Now, uh, about this wire wrapper here, I'm getting a lot of people telling me about, you know, that I can buy a proper wire wrapper. And I got an email from somebody this morning, and uh, he was he was saying that, uh, I think it was Alex, and he, he says that there's, uh, you can go on AliExpress or whatever they call it, and, uh, you know, you can get one here and a lot cheaper than what Amazon is going to want for one. The problem is, I'm having fun trying to make this go, you know. In fact, I'm, I'm going to modify it today. I've, I've got an idea to make it a little easier to, to operate because right now, when, when I'm wrapping the wire around, I've got to hold a certain amount of tension back. Otherwise, it's going to, it's going to spool out of the end of the, whatever you call this, needle. And uh, so I've got, I've got an idea. It may or may not work. I might end up ruining this thing and have to get another one. But I've got another one. <laughs> but I got several other ones. Uh, yeah, I bought them about ten years ago when I was pen turning. <laughs> okay, now uh, about the sunrise this morning. I don't know if we're going to actually have one. Uh, it's it's pretty foggy out there. No, oh, a funny thing happened this morning. I was sitting by the computer and I looked up at my thermometer. And it said minus 21. And I thought, minus 21? What, what happened? <laughs> I, I was looking at the one that, the, the, the one for my freezer and fridge is right, right beside the, the one that measures the temperature outside the house. <laughs> it, it was minus 21 inside the freezer. <laughs> okay, that was, that was a relief. Okay. Well, what do we got here? It's uh, minus 2.5 right now. It's going to warm up today. I don't know if I'll be lucky and get out on my e-bike, uh, but we'll see what happens. I, I did get out. We'll talk about that later. I got out yesterday, I mean. Okay, um, I'm going to just maybe uh, recompose here, and I want to modify this. I, I did use it to... to uh, to wrap up the uh, the wire, but I think I'll just take it off and, and redo it here. And um, I know you can't see this wire from way back there, but uh, it it is here. Okay, yeah, let's let's recompose and see if I can mod modify this. I'll show you what I'm what I'm thinking of doing here. It it may or may not work. Uh, see what happens. Oh, got an email from Gabe. He was saying that he uses a mechanical pencil for something like this. And yeah, I was I was looking at my mechanical pen. I have an old mechanical pencil downstairs in my toolbox, and I was, you know, thinking about that too. The the problem is, you've still got the the loose wire coming up out of the end of it. That's going to well. Let's uh, let's recompose and. Uh, I'll, I'll, if I if I show you what I'm talking about, it'll work out a lot better. Um, okay, let's get going here.
Okay, the idea is that the vibration won't go into the table and make such a racket. At least that's the plan. Okay. Uh, now, this turns this way, so I want to watch that I don't dig the needle in down in the bottom because it'll... Okay, I'm going to do it on the top and it should work. Just double check here. Yeah, it's turning this way. Uh, yeah, I've had the odd bad experience by not paying attention to that. Okay, uh, <clears throat> oh, nothing serious. Yeah, not life-threatening. Maybe eye-threatening if you had your eye in the wrong direction. Okay, let's uh, stick on the macro lens here and uh, take a nice close look. Okay, the idea is what I want to do here is grind a little slot in the side of the of this needle, just just enough so that I can I can bring the wire in. And, and feed feed the wire in this way and out the end. Kind of like a sewing machine needle, only different. Um, at least that's the plan. So this may or may not work. It could be that I'm going to end up weakening this, this needle so bad, or tube, it's not a needle, and uh, so badly that it's, it's just not going to not going to work. But I think if I First of all, let's let's get my wire out of the way here so it doesn't wind up <laughs> on the spindle. Okay, um, I'm just going to do sort of a trial and error thing. I'm just going to touch it and then look at it, touch it, look at it, and I think eventually I should be able to see when I'm when I've come through. Uh, at least that's the plan. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Okay, I I'm I would have thought we should be through already. I'm wondering if possibly I am through, but the metal has sort of closed itself off here. Just see if I can get something to to poke that with something that's sharp, like the hobby knife. Okay. Now. Yeah, I would have thought we would be through.
This this may not may not be a good idea. Um, I suppose I go a little further. I'm I'm probably I, I'm guessing. Uh, what how does it look about? Uh, probably about two thirds of the way through already. Well, let's just, let's just give it a little bit more and see what happens. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is not working out as planned. Why is this not, why can I not get, like where the needle's trying to, or the knife is trying to go there, why can't I do, maybe I'm going to, oh, here, here we go, I think I'm getting it. You know, I'm going to have to take this off camera so I can see better what I'm doing. Okay, I haven't tried this yet, but maybe if I shove a needle up through there, we can sort of break that out. Um, I, I, I think maybe I just didn't go through far enough. Um, okay, I'm going to just, I'm just going to go down just a little bit further. Maybe what I'll do is I'll, I'll leave the needle in there. The reason being is that it will, yes, it'll, it'll, you know, it'll damage the needle a little bit, but it will stop the, the tube from collapsing into the hole, if you know what I mean. At least that, that's, that's the plan. Okay, let's uh, recompose and try that. I think, I think the opening is is enough now that we can, uh, but pull the needle out. Yeah, we should be able to get the wire in that hole. Okay, I'm going to use the wire brush here to try and clean some of the burrs out of that area, and uh, this may or may not work. It might actually end up plugging our, our hole up again, but it, we'll see. We'll see what happens here.
Okay, the idea is that I should be able to put my finger on here to, to, to put a little bit of friction on it so that this doesn't pull out while I'm winding around. But somehow this just is not comfortable. too big. It's long enough. wonder if I can, maybe with a pair of pliers I could screw that in there. It might be a, it might be a little easier than, than this. Uh, maybe I don't need one quite this long. be a little bit less cumbersome than, than this syringe here. A little while ago I was trying to get this this syringe out. It just doesn't want to come. I'm wondering if maybe I'd used it for glue and I didn't didn't rinse it out. Oh there we go. Okay. Uh yeah let's uh Let's straighten this up here and screw it in and uh, and try it out on our LED here. Okay, here we go with our new and improved wire wrapper. Yeah, this is slick. I can release the pressure. Carefully draw this back and then try not to jerk on it. And we're going to take one of uh, Chris's alligator clips here and just to hold it down. There we go. And it won't pop off on me. And I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use this uh, solder paste instead of. Doing it the, the way I was. Let's see if I can squeeze some out here now. Oh, well, that didn't work. Maybe I tried to put on too much. There. Now, if I, I think if I can just get some heat going there, it's gonna, it's gonna wick its way into all of that. At least that's the plan. Now let me get that solder up off of my green cloth here. Maybe I'll see if I can poke it on there. Okay, I think that that should work. Once that starts to melt, it should. Uh, okay, that's uh, it's going to take a minute or two to uh, get my soldering iron hooked up again. So we'll just push stop here. Okay, I'm guessing about two minutes, three minutes has passed here. All right, let's just uh, see what's going to happen here. I'm wondering if maybe I left the heat on there too long. 
Uh, okay, I'm going to do the other one now the same way and then we'll test the bulb. I don't think it matters which way you go. Oops. All right. This one is not going as good. Maybe I should put a little bit of flux on that. On the second hand, uh, second thought, I, I just looked in the monitor and it did appear that I was... Okay, let's try this one more time here. Just, just give it a quick touch here. I don't know if that made it better or worse. Okay, now I'm going to uh, bear the... Uh, uh, the other ends of the wires and we'll test this out and make sure it still works. Slick. Okay, I got a 50-50 chance of getting these the right way. Okay, I am thinking now that it might be a good idea to uh, not mount these LEDs in the overhead bulkhead, even if the bulkhead was painted, which it's or is it painted? Did I paint it? Uh, I can't tell. No, I don't think it is. I think that's just the, the plastic. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's pretty bad, isn't it? Uh, I, I can't tell. No, I think that's the plastic. Okay, uh, <laughs> that is bad. Um, okay, uh, uh, well, spray painting does such a good job, it's hard to tell sometimes. Okay, so the reason being is that I'm going to have to be doing a lot of manipulating uh, w with, with the overhead bulkhead to get it to fit into place. Um, if you remember from a couple of episodes ago when, when we sort of tried it out there. Okay, anyway, I think we've... Uh, messed with this enough. 
it's kind of, when you look at it up close like this it looks pretty rough doesn't it but anyway let's just uh we got we got lots of line going on here so uh let's just uh, coil these up and uh put them in a safe place If you will remember, in yesterday's episode I was saying I was planning to get out on my e-bike, all being well. Well, I took a look at the road and I thought, you know, I think I can make it if I'm careful. And I was careful, and I made it. Once I was on the bike path, it was, you know, the going was pretty good. That was the odd puddle I had to sort of, you know, splash through, but uh, yeah, it was pretty good. And I was out for a total of 51 minutes altogether. Uh, yeah, it, it was, uh, I was going to say it was enjoyable, but towards the end I was starting to get a little bit cold. The uh, thermometer that's fastened onto my handlebars, it dropped down to just under uh, uh, plus 3 Celsius. I think it's around coldest I saw it was 2.7 Celsius. Uh, yeah, it's kind of cool, uh, but I had a good time. I can't complain. It could be a lot worse this time of year. And it has been, and maybe it will be yet. We're not out of the woods yet. Okay, we have successfully completed our six LEDs, and they're probably not going to need them until we're going to want to mount them in the holes. I was noticing when I was editing, I got one of these holes just slightly in the wrong place. I remember when I first saw, saw it like this, I thought, oh, they got the... The, you know the marking on the back in the wrong place but then I was noticing that I was a little bit off so I'm guessing that when I drilled the hole I must have uh, accidentally moved it a little bit more this way anyway and it's funny I could not tell that this was not painted <laughs> it, it looked painted at first to me okay so we are done here with this let's just carefully put this out of the way for the time being and what I want to do this afternoon is I'm going to cut her off right now, actually, uh, the video. And I want to work on my, uh, I, I want to be able to mount the GoPro on my bike helmet. I, I got it worked out so that it works really well on the motorcycle helmet, but I don't want to be wearing this when I go out on the e-bike. <laughs> I look ridiculous enough already with my banana suit on. Okay. So, so what I want to do here is, is see if I can't mount it on the front here, uh, some, some sort of a bracket. I've got, I've got four different brackets going here. This, this, this is the, the chest cam that I wore all last summer and, and you know, it, it worked pretty good for holding the, the cell phone. And it, it will also, this, this part will come off and, and I can put something like this on in its place and it, the GoPro will mount. But the problem is with the chest cam, is that I have to have, I, I zip my parka up as far as it'll go and then I button it around and I've got this little hole going on here, the cold air comes rushing in and I know I, 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 I stuff it full with a scarf and all that kind of stuff, but still. Now I also have th this, like like this will also mount on the, on the, the GoPro will mount on here. I never, I never have used this and I probably never will. The idea is you're supposed to you're supposed to put this on something something like this, and then the the GoPro fastens on the front here. Well, this is just darn uncomfortable, and not only that, it won't fit under my helmet. And uh, so I'm thinking maybe what I could do is I could take this 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 uh, this buckle. It's quite large, and fasten it somehow onto the front of the of the uh, helmet. Now. I can't use I can't use the sticky this 3M uh, sticky tape which is really sticky <laughs> uh, on here because this is painted it's just a painted surface whereas this yellow that you're looking at is actually yellow plastic all the way through so uh, it's a different type of uh, surface altogether this will eventually peel off on me I think so. Um, I'm going to have to use some kind of little, little tiny screws, which I've got lots of, and just be careful I don't go all the way through or have anything protruding on the inside in case of the unfortunate event of a tumble. <laughs> and I, I didn't. I, I went, well, what, four or five thousand kilometers last summer? 
a little over four altogether between the scooter and the e-bike and uh, I never had any problems now it doesn't mean it's not going to happen so you I don't want to have the screws going all the way through there and then uh, hit my forehead on something and uh, <laughs> puncture myself okay so uh, I just thought I'd mention that because I just knew somebody was going to comment saying oh you can't do that until it's dangerous uh, and it, maybe it kind of is so uh, that's what I want to do this afternoon I want to work on on this uh, I might be able to get out uh, uh, the, the roads are actually better right now than they were yesterday when I was out. Less snow, less uh, icy ruts, that sort of thing here on, on my street. The, the uh, bike path was great. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to wrap her up here. What have we got? 12.33. Thanks for watching everybody. And all being well, we're going to see you tomorrow.